Hey guys, it's Baby Powder, and I'm coming to you with another one of my amazing multi boss gold guides where I show you how easy it is to make lots of gold with less effort and without a group. Seeing my stream, I'm actually currently working on doing my next 10 hour, and it's going to be for the Black Tabby Cat farm that I've already kind of uh, shown, uh, which if you haven't had a chance to check out, you check out the video on the link right above. You have or whatever, and you're aware of that. Uh, there's also another farm that was actually spotlighted for the black tabby cat that was like horde only and so i want to to kind of go over that and uh try it again and just see how good it really is still and see if it's a lot better than the other one and you know um with you know can you get more black tabby cats can you uh get you know better items as far as the transmog whatever you know which where they kind of stand which of course you know the original farm which i put a link up at the top of the screen it's you know it's nice because if you don't have any horde characters you don't plan on making any then you you know you can still do it because it's neutral but anyway guys let's go ahead and check it out and get into the farm right now all right guys so for this farm just like the other black tabby cat farm we are located out in the hills brad foothills because that's where you can get the black tabby cat uh, because that's mainly what we're focused on farming and we are located right here which i mean if you're an experienced gold farmer you may have seen you know people make videos on this a long time ago uh because you know this was well known as you know hey it's an amazing farm but you have to be horrid to go out and get it um which i mean my experience it actually seems like it's really still great and especially for multi-boxing as you get more opportunities for the pet uh and the reason why you have to be horde is because you're killing these storm pike uh mobs right here and they are only targetable by horde because i think they're friendly to the alliance or whatever um and i mean they're just in such a small area as you can see uh you can hardly even see my uh potatoes because everybody's clumped up so close together and uh, the way i kind of have it set up here uh, which really you only have to cover two points really I would believe is you know You have to cover one down there where diamond is and you have to cover one kind of up here uh, Which I have my tunes kind of just zigzagging here Which if you only had to you might have to move around with your main a little bit But really this is a lazy farm you can just sit still in one spot and uh, you can kill everything and actually With my main spot. I was able to loot every single mob just from here and use my looter ring uh, I didn't have to move it all for the loot phase. I think every now and then I would miss this mob way down here in this corner here. Uh, but we really wasn't worried about it as I would just loot and just start killing again. Uh, but so yeah, it's really amazing with that. Which means majority of my potatoes are actually looting every single mob too. Which unlike the other black tabby cat farm, you have to fly around loot. So you're losing time there and you're also not getting as much loot because your potatoes aren't able to loot everything. Uh, so from a standpoint of looting more mobs and killing more mobs, this is already better with that. Uh, but downside is you can't do this as an alliance. Um, but anyway, guys, let's go ahead and uh, uh, I'll show you the macro. It's right here. It's just uh, slash target STO, first three letters of the mob's name, and then slash cast your spell. I was using uh, Sunfire. And, you know, you just sit here in this one spot and just uh, spam your macro and... These mobs just, I mean, they spawn super, super fast uh, for such a small area. Um, as you see, they're already respawning and, you know, you're, you're killing them right as they spawn uh, because, you know, like I said, it's such a small area and it's, it's basically overkill uh, with uh, five, uh, you know, tunes out here all at once. Uh, and like I said, you could do this with just two characters. Have your main up here at the top, you know, if you're a smaller multi-boxer, have, you know, your potato down there uh, or whichever. Uh, I just decided to do it like this just to make sure every area is covered. So like I have this one up here because of that one mob up there. I have my main right here to make sure it's hitting that mob over there. Uh, which actually I still think even if I backed my uh, main up. Yeah, see I'm still hitting that mob. <laughs> still able to hit them. Um, and, and things like that. And then I have the one down there so that there's a couple mobs on either side of there that, that you know are kind of far away. So just to make it easy uh and uh so i wouldn't have to move around i just kind of did this kind of setup uh, but then you know during your loot phase you just make sure that all of your tunes are using the same loot uh keybind to use the looter ring um 
of course if you're like my alliance group you would still have to fly around because my alliance uh main doesn't actually have the looter rain because they have skinning instead of engineering uh but that'd be the only time still your potatoes should be able to loot everything uh but anyway guys the main thing to see here is is this actually better do the black tabbies drop uh you know more frequently here do you get more of them uh and or also with the other things like buccaneers vest and stuff do you get more of those or can you get those from here so let's go ahead and get everybody you know rounded up and see exactly what we got for doing this for one hour all right guys so now that we've got everybody together here and got everything organized and everything let's go ahead and take a look at what we got so first off we're going to go over what my main got because they're on different realms and everything since so my horde group and my main did get one of the black tabby cats uh which actually we don't have any of the unlearned versions up on the auction house right now so kind of can't wait to get one up uh it's showing 103,000 uh gold for market value and about 77,000 gold for the region value uh and as far as like transmog pieces really just the low value stuff is all we got we did get quite a few pieces here uh which they're still good pieces just not anything to really kind of point out uh in some lock boxes and some of the old like gems and things uh but we'll go ahead and pull up our box here and see exactly what we got now see we did actually you know uh with like the other black tabby cat farm we got like buccaneers best and stuff like that and then again we might have just been unlucky here with the transmog um so you got you know kind of think of that it, it could have been we had bad rng for transmog but hey we did get a black tabby cat uh so let's go ahead and use our macro here and it's showing a value of 144,528 gold so we'll go ahead and switch over to our you know potatoes bank or potatoes alt and see what all the potatoes got and see what they add to it and add everything up together and see exactly what the value is all right guys so now that we're over here on our other team that has all the loot from our potatoes let's go ahead and take a look at what they got and all the pot potatoes added to the group so first off we've got four of the black tabby cat carriers and there is actually one up on the auction house and it's showing for 181,000 gold so somebody shot really high to try to sell the unlearned version so i might you know knock it down a little bit uh but i don't i don't want to you know kill the value on it so uh, I'm, I'm not going to knock it down too high um but anyway guys uh as far as like low value transport we got like two full bags and like even this part of this bag filled of just that low value stuff so tons of loot uh compared to possibly the other farm where you know everybody's separated out uh now the you know that's the one benefit from this is that your potatoes can pretty much loot everything that your main can loot which is pretty much every single one of the mob packs except for maybe you know your two potatoes on the end uh then we did actually get some decent pieces right here we got this one the thorbius gauntlets for you know seven thousand gold my realm eight thousand gold region uh black velvet robes for almost twelve thousand my realm about twenty thousand region and the male combat arm guards for about seven thousand gold my realm eight thousand gold region now these aren't they these still aren't great and as you know we didn't get any buccaneers vest which i know you can get from the other farm uh but it could have been that we just weren't lucky with rng but we were looting more mobs i feel so you know we might still have less of a chance of getting like things like buccaneers vest from this farm uh it's really gonna be hard to tell until like i uh, do like a 10 hour farm of each which i am currently working on a 10 hour farm of the other farm uh right now but uh just you know this one it might be a little while before i actually do that and then we can kind of see exactly where they stand and which one's totally better but honestly my opinion this is probably a better farm i'd have to do it a couple more times to see you know just how many of these black tabby cats i can get to drop out of each hour and to see if there's any hours that i don't have any drop or anything like that and see if maybe i was just extremely lucky with getting five, you know total total of five black tabbies because we got one on the main and we got four on you know the potatoes i uh, might have just been extremely lucky or it might just be better because we can loot more mobs uh but anyway guys let's go ahead and pull up the chat box and see exactly what the value is in our bags and once we have our macro it's a value of 760,424 gold and that's because of the high value on these black tabby cats uh and you know a lot of this little you know low value transmog stuff does add up because i mean you know there are pieces that are you know around 
four and five thousand, you know, maybe even six thousand gold in value. Um, but I just didn't feel like they were worth mentioning. Uh, so they do actually, you know, add up when you have that many of them. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's add that in to the hundred and forty-four thousand that we had in value with the the main character and. That's going to give us a total of 904,952 gold in value. Now, that doesn't mean to say I'm going to actually get that out of this because a lot of these pieces are low value transmog. They go up and down quite rapidly uh, compared to the actual high value pieces. And the uh, with the black tabby cats, you know, I'm going to probably learn some of them, which the value will drop when I learn them. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, uh, with my experience, <laughs> majority of the time that happens, not all the time, but uh, especially with the black tabby cat, I really don't see them being worth what is taking the market value, which is almost 148,000 for each one of these. Uh, I really don't see them actually being worth that when they're learned. It's probably gonna be about half of that. Um, so yeah, definitely won't make that much, but I'll still make a decent amount when these items sell. And that's another thing with transmog and stuff, it's gonna take a little while to sell even possibly the black tabby cats. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's go ahead and conclude the video and uh, go over everything. All right, guys, so to conclude the video on the horde only uh, black tabby cat farm, I would say it's better, my opinion, uh, for right now until I can really test it and do a 10 hour farm of each one. Uh, I, I mean, really though, it's really, the farm that you enjoy is the best farm so i still do enjoy the other farm i'll still end up doing that farm uh plus you know i will still want some unlearned versions of the black tabby cat on my you know main group just because i do post both the unlearned and learned versions of pets um so i'll still do that which actually you know like i mentioned i am doing a 10 hour farm that is my next one is doing the other black tabby cat farm uh and uh, don't forget, if you haven't seen the actual one hour version of that, the link is up top of the screen. Go check that out. Uh, but with us, you know, mainly looking for the Black Tabby Cat, we did get five from this one. Whereas so far, which I haven't finished out my 10 hours of the other one yet, uh, the most I've ever gotten is like two from the other form uh, during a one hour session. And then I've had some sessions where I haven't gotten any. It's not to say that I couldn't possibly have some sessions at this farm where I wouldn't get any for an hour. Uh, but there is a lot more mobs that you're looting from this one. So I do believe the chances are better here. Um, but we did also receive, you know, I feel like better pieces of transmog from the other farm. Like we got the Buccaneers vest and things like that. Whereas this farm, we were looting more mobs. So we had a greater chance that that item did drop from these but we didn't get any. So I uh, feel like you have a better chance at the other farm possibly for those items. Uh, if that's what you're looking for, along with looking for the black tabby cat, because you can get like Buccaneers vest and stuff from so many other farms. So it's not worth just coming out here uh, and doing that one to say, Hey, you know, I just need the Buccaneers vest. And, and so I'll do this one, uh, which you could do like things like uh, the crimson welping farm and possibly get the, you know, Buccaneers vest as well, which I'll leave a link up at the top of the screen from that one. That's also another awesome farm where you can actually have all your potatoes loot, practically all the mobs and you can get tons of loot. Um, so yeah, definitely a good one there too. And it's a different pet. Uh, and I've actually even done a 10 hour farm of that version as well. So uh, if you haven't checked that one out, I'll leave a link to that one as well. You can check out both versions if you like. Uh, but anyway, guys, yeah, almost a million gold in value. I did not expect that from this farm at all. Uh, so that was actually, you know, I mean, yeah, it is because the unlearned versions are kind of posted pretty high, uh, which like I said, is probably only going to be about half that, if even that much, if I learn these ver uh, learn these black tabby cats and try to pull them up on the auction house, which I'll do both. I'll, I'll put the unlearned and learned versions up, which I, you know, uh, recommend doing because I do sell both uh, on most of my pets. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, if you like the video, go ahead and make sure you hit that thumbs up down below. Also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, so you make sure you don't miss another one of my, my amazing multi-box gold guys. And, uh, don't forget I'm streaming on Twitch now, uh, where I do give away a wow token every two weeks. It's every other Sunday. It's usually my second farm that I do. I do, you know, show, you know, parts of my 10 hour farms. I don't do the whole 10 hours on stream. Um, 
and that way you know it can you know leave a little suspense for the you know uh whole ending of the 10 hour farm uh also you know it was kind of fun because last stream we actually did have i i asked everybody that was in chat you know to go ahead and make their predictions as far as how many black tabby cats i would uh possibly receive from the other farm uh when i do the 10 hour and i'm gonna actually you know give a shout out if anybody gets it right and there were some people who kind of guessed you know really low and there were some people that actually shot pretty high i'm rooting for the people who shot pretty high because i want those black tabby cats uh but <laughs> anyway you you know if you guys uh like if you guys you know are on twitch you know come check me out you know uh it's it's a lot of fun that we have there i do allow people to come in and uh join with my group and and farm with me so uh but anyway guys uh other than that if there's any farms you'd like for me to try to do and post a video go and leave a comment down below and let me know about it uh or whisper me or, or you know send me a message or anything like that and i'll check it out see if it works and if it works i'll post a video but than that guys that's all i have it's baby powder peace i'm out